Hey everyone and welcome back to Oceanium. So today I am introducing a quick compound guide video series. My goal is to quickly go over a specific compound giving you some good peaking angles, vaulting spots, and general tips to prevail in shootouts. Today we will be quickly going over the Lock Bay Docks compound. And if you learn anything new, be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube, join my Discord server, and follow me on Twitch. Anyways, let's get into Lock Bay. Starting off, we have a peaking spot that I feel not many know about. Entering through the southern slide gate and taking a left, this opening is near the floor to the right. This spot gives you a line of sight into the basement part of the compound, where many people like to hang out during boss fights. I've gotten a few kills using this spot, and every single time the enemy cannot figure out where I'm shooting from. So doing a little investigating as to why they cannot see me, let us venture downstairs. Going into this entryway, if you look up towards that part of the roof, that is the spot where you can peek from. Notice, however, that it is near impossible to tell it what exactly you are looking at from the downstairs perspective, making this a perfect spot to peek for people in the boss layer. Returning to the upstairs and right next to the spot I just showed you, we have two scenario-specific locations that are very effective. First is the area at the very bottom of the ramp. If you crouch down, you can see out to the white shack near the pitching compound. If you have a sniper, you will want to be checking here often. Now the other spot you can use is right above this. You can see this walkway and see to the left and right. This is effective if the enemy team rotates around the south side or even approaches the southern bridge. Also it's worth mentioning that you can see under the bridge from here down in the water. Getting a better look at these spots from an outside perspective, you can tell it is pretty tricky to see in as it is very dark. So just be wary approaching if you know a team is inside, as they have multiple angles to peek. Speaking of angles to peek to the south, we have a few others that allow you to see near the bridge and the upward sloping ramp from the water. Crouching right here gives you a decent angle as well, but this angle here is slightly more effective. If you back up far enough, you can get an angle on the boat outside where people will peek often. Keep in mind they can shoot back in pretty well as there is a weird light effect that can happen to make it easier to see inside for people outside. Now going upstairs, there is a spot to peek the door here, and the barred window. Not super helpful, but could be beneficial in some scenarios. Continuing down the hall and around to the other side, you can see this doorway from upstairs. And right next to this spot, an opening in the ceiling allows you to see towards the north. Albeit, it doesn't let you see very far, it is beneficial if you know if someone is rotating from the north part of the compound over to the west side. This will give you a very small window of opportunity to take someone down, so be sure to make your shots count. Looking from the outside to provide you with a little more perspective on this opening, you can see how specific the use case is for it and where an enemy will be located in reference to your position. Moving on to the next spot, we must go to the generator room near the crank door. Coming from the west side of the compound and going into this door here, we go left and towards the generator. I want to quickly mention that you can see the ladder to the roof from here and around this corner. And you can kind of see out to the west a bit, but this spot is pretty well known and risky to peek. Okay, so we are at the generator. You can hop up onto this box here and you can see out of this gap. Often, if there is an assaulting team, they will be hanging out near the lumber stacks over to the west. They will likely be focused on the upstairs window, which is generally a lousy spot to peek anyways. This gap gives you a decent line of sight to take these guys out. Moving past this hole in the floor that I'm sure many of you have fallen through, closing the gate here, if you crouch you can get an angle up onto this roof, or the downstairs section of this red building. Also there is an even better angle you can get into that red building by jumping on these boxes here. People approaching from the north, northeast, or east will often get onto the roof of this building or hang out behind it, so these angles can come in handy. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the first video in my new quick compound guide series. I am open to suggestions you may have to improve videos like these in the future, so be sure to leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this video helped you get some new ideas to use in shootouts at Lock Bay Docks. I do have a gameplay video that features a couple shootouts at Lock Bay, so if you want to see a handful of the spots in action, be sure to go watch that video. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to follow me on all my socials. All links are down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.